Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video, we'll be showing the snow stomper, but this time there's a small twist. This time I'm using Merrily on the main lineup and I get a great score actually. I'm at 85% uh, of the boss, 14.7 million, absolutely great. Now, because I'm going above the 50% or the boss going below 50%, so we're gonna catch up with the damage. I'm gonna use my Supreme Plus Vala and check, does it even make it better or is it the first burst of uh, Marley make it better for the boss? So we're gonna go and check this out. I'm gonna show you my setting and how I apply my lineup. And it's also an awesome lineup actually to use. Now we can of course drop uh, off uh, uh, Cecilia, but I wanna try this instead of Marley just playing Vala to check the damages. Now I'll do a run with this lineup as you see, 10%, 10%. I'm using Kruger. Uh, here because Kruger buffs the attacks of uh, basic attacks of Merrily and his own attacks and he deals a decent amount of damage plus he buffs Mr. Carlisle and Cecilia so they deal more damage when I removed him and did Coco did anybody else did Corin uh, her damages uh, uh, the damages uh, for her went a lot down especially when I use somebody is that is not Mauler this is the lineup I'm tanking a little bit with uh, Smokey until he comes on and then uh, Mr. Carlisle will be on and they will start tanking. Odie does Odie shenanigans. First, uh, Marilee will get into the snowball. She's gonna get freed by uh, our Cecilia and then our uh, Odie will deal uh, will be in the snowball and uh, he will take the damages and he will be freed immediately with one hit or two hits by Marily. Now we're using the evocation spell as it proved itself. It's so broken in many aspects. Now on this specific boss, of course, you can use this one, but it will only give you HP. It will not give you any kind of uh, survivability. This one gives you HP and gives you shields. So it's very important to have. Now, uh, the quick blade is also great here because of the physical uh, damage that you can have and add a little bit to Marily auto attacks that, uh, uh, that the normal attacks and to uh, uh, our Sia and to our uh, Kruger. So we're gonna do this run and this is how I'm putting them. She's gonna jump anywhere and she will hit her and free her up. It will take a second or two, but when Smokey is inside the ball, Mr. Carla can hit, Kruger can go back, but basically Marily will free him with uh, Sia immediately to carries hitting him. Odie, if anybody else get in a snowball, he doesn't hit it. He continue hitting the boss, which is awesome actually for the run. So let's go and test this run. Now this is, uh, I did this run exactly before I started recording. So I bet I will get similar uh, scores, something in the 80% and above. I got the 85%. So our main focus is just, as you see, she freed uh, uh, Odie immediately. Uh, our main focus here is just to get uh, uh, to this uh, level and beat uh, the 100%. If we can get to 90%, that would be awesome so we can unlock the next reward. And as you see, Kruger is tanking a little bit. I need even two more copies, I think, of him or one more copy and he will be maxed out or Mythic Plus and I will finish him to Mythic Plus and then work on my Coco, maybe work on my Arden for future PvP teams. And as you see, decent damage. Everybody is dealing a lot of damage. And here we go. Look at Odie. In Snowball, he's freed and we can continue. Kruger is still alive, thank God. He basically, in previous runs, he was dying at this moment and we have 15 seconds left. We're gonna get to the 80%, which is awesome as well. And now, hopefully we're gonna get to the 85, similar results. Yeah, almost 85%. So similar results of that. I will show you the, the damages that we did. Of course, Kruger is adding a lot of damage, actually better than our Smokey. So OD, best damage dealer, then our Merrily, then Cecilia. Cecilia is dealing decent damage, almost the same as Merrily. Now, if we replace Merrily and we put uh, Vala instead of her, now knowing that Vala has also decent amount of damage. So we will remove I'm putting the levels on Cecilia. I should put them on Marily actually, but I'll keep them like that for the fair comparison between her and Vala. Now, Marily at plus 10, her exclusive Vala is at plus 5, but Vala is Supreme plus, while Marily is Mythic plus or Supreme. So we're gonna go and test it out and check how does this work. Now, I use this one, sadly. So if I use this one, I will get to the 85% with the previous run. I will keep using this one because it's better. We hopefully, so 85% with this artifact, with the evocation spell, with Marily. The, with the other spell that I used, I forgot to remove it. We got, uh, 2% lower. So always play evocation spell. Now we're gonna test this with Vala. Hopefully Vala will go to sword form at 50% and she'll deal a lot of damage. I don't want her to die. This is the only scared part uh, that is confusing me if I need to use Vala or not. 
because after 50% she's gonna be in front of the boss and he will do this blow that he blows on everybody and kills them. We sm uh, freed our uh, Odie, immediately Odie is dealing the most damage, not Vala, not Sisia. So we know from the start that it's OD is dealing all, all the types of damage. And now here we go. The boss is blowing and we, he missed everything about his damages because everybody went back to free OD, which is perfect timing for us. Now drop below 50%. Vala, when she jumps, she's in for, sword form. We have 35 seconds, almost 30 seconds. Let's say 30 seconds, 29, 28, 27 seconds. So she have 27 seconds to deal massive amount of damage. Let's check if she can can do something here. And here we go. She does again another uh, type of damage. And now we're gonna go and free them. She's tanking and she died. She couldn't survive. So is Merrily better on this run? Uh, even uh, after 50%? Absolutely yes. Do we get Kruger to uh, Mythic Plus and it will be a better run? Yes, because he will not die. And we will get extra and we're gonna finish this. So. Having Merrily is better. Now we're gonna put levels on Merrily and we're gonna do something even different. We're gonna drop Cecilia out of the lineup and play Vala and Merrily at the same time. So here we go, Vala and Merrily. So we get the bonus of the 14%. We don't have Cecilia on anymore. So we're gonna put the levels on Merrily because Merrily burst at the early stage will deal even more damage than Vala. Vala until she goes until uh, below 50%, then she will start shining. So can we do something here? Let's go and check it out. I didn't test that. We're testing it live together so we can check the best results. And of course, I'm gonna play Coco and show you how Coco performs here. But also Coco needs this little bit of time so she can buff everybody else. But I think it will be helpful. But the damage output from Cecilia and from Marley is absolutely amazing. They took a little bit of time to free uh, Marily because OD does not attack Marily. This is the only thing that I can tell you. Now, OD will be spiraling in damage. He's going to be in the ball. Everybody will free him up. Yes, immediately he gets freed up. Above 50% and now Vala is in sword form. Do not die Vala. Vala didn't die. Can we get the Avocation spell to give us the shields again? And can Vala do damages? Okay, Vala tanked and died immediately, which... Tells me that Cecilia is better because Mr. Carlisle is consistent and he stays on the floor on the ground. So I think it would be better. Now playing Rainier also would help. Playing somebody else would also help. Not on Odie but on Marily because she gets behind and she got, doesn't get the blow from the face uh, from uh, uh, the boss. And okay, almost similar damages but still the best lineup that we played is the lineup with having Cecilia. So again, we're gonna try this time with Coco and check. Does Coco make the lineup even better? Here we go, we remove Vala. Oh, this is Mary Lee, wait, my bad. We remove Vala, we add Miss Coco. Okay, so Coco will be, yeah, here, she, she can work here. So here we go, Coco, this time we have the buff of the 18% because four molars and one uh, uh, light bear, which is Mary Lee. So here we go, Kruger does his Kruger shenanigans, so he, we debuff the boss. Actually, we don't need to play Kruger anymore here. We can play somebody else like Corin. I didn't try Corin. Corin might be amazing for this run actually because he will give the shields, stay protective, and shields from Evocation spell on top of that. Coco spells protecting everybody, plus her seasonal buff with the shields as well. So she will be even helpful. So it's taking us a little bit of time, but the buff from Coco spiraled our damage massively, which is absolutely nice. I find this fantastic immediately we remove uh, small uh, od from the cloud everybody is surviving coco can you give us the buff and we got the buff now we need smoky to heal a little bit and give us the buff and i think we can do decent amount of damage for this run actually i didn't anticipate that without another damage dealer the run would go solid to 80 percent at least like this one is nearing 80 percent can we hit the 80 percent i don't think so almost there almost there so damage dealers Instead of buffers, 100% you need to play that. So instead of uh, Coco this time, we're gonna remove her and add Corin. And this is the lineup that I'd like to play. Adding Corin, where is he? Corin, 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 Corin. He's Corin. Instead of Kruger as well. And adding somebody to maximize our damage, like you. And here we go. So what will happen is she will jump here and see she start to jump back around so she will not tank everything and she will not die because she has the healing buffs from him and we have 15% uh, now if we remove him and we add somebody else like uh, let's say Coco or Kruger anybody like is smaller we're gonna get the 14% so playing him 
and we guarantee ourselves a 15%, which is a little bit better. So here we go. Let's check this out. Could this be the run uh, that will give us the highest score? I try. I checked every suggestions with my friends and they told me about many type of plays to play this one. So I think this one would be nice. They told me this one is the one that they beat it for 100%. So we're gonna check that. And you see, we couldn't get Merrily immediately outside because there is one unit that is attacking it and it's uh, Rainier. Now, as you see, it's OD, uh, Smokey, that is tanking the boss fully and uh, not our uh, Corrin. Why? Because Corrin has one tile away from the boss, which will not make him the main tank, which is awesome. In my, in my opinion, it's really awesome. And here we go. We're focusing OD again. Hopefully nobody dies. We're getting the debuff from Rainier. We're getting the buffs from Rainier. But still, it's not the same damage with having Cecilia. Cecilia is still awesome for this run, especially paired up with Kruger. She's dealing a lot of damage. So we're gonna do the last run with the normal team that I did. And it was massively successful. I don't know how it succeeded. I just slapped every good unit that I have on my lineup and it did the highest damages. So let's check here if Corrin at least did decent amount of damage. And as you see, it's similar to Kruger, so playing Kruger on top of him is better and playing Cecilia here will get your damages like similar to Merrily. So playing Cecilia and Merrily will buff your damages massively. Now, if there's another unit that will deal the same things like Merrily, like uh, uh, Cecilia, I would replace it. But for this run, actually, because you can't cast a lot of spells, this is why uh, Merrily looks uh, or uh, Cecilia looks so good for this run. So we're gonna do this again. This time, the level's on Marilee, not on Cecilia. We have the Avocation spell. Everything is ready for this lineup. So hopefully, we can go and get uh, the same result, or at least a little bit better. So you can uh, take uh, uh, a look at how much this team is looking better than the normal teams. Somebody told me Florable works perfectly here. Uh, only her tanks dies immediately, but her archer is absolutely fantastic here, which I hope that is uh, this is the case. So if you don't have uh, Cecilia, blame uh, Florabelle. But in my opinion, Cecilia is working better just because of Kruger and uh, her and Mr. Carlyle have different penetration, which is uh, which allow them and enable them to deal even more damages uh, than the rest of the normal team. So here we go. We so you see the damage, how quickly it is, and how quick that we uh, free our OD from uh, from the boss, which is really nice. Now, I want Smokey to heal before... Okay, and Kruger heals with his passive because he has life seal, which is absolutely nice. Smokey give us the smoke and we get some attack, some damages, which is good. Again, Kruger is tanking because he life steals with his auto attacks, which is insane to me. This is insane. And again, the 55, 85%, uh, we got it the same or we broke it by a little bit of percentage. Now, of course, if you have Mythic plus Corrin, if you have uh, a built up uh, maybe Marley at Supreme plus, if you, if you have all of these synergies, it will be better for your lineup. Let's check the scores again. So Marley did a little bit more damage than Cecilia this time because we had Cecilia and Marley almost the same because she had the levels on herself because she he she and her Mr. Carlyle gets the levels and more damages not only her they're considered like two units when she summoned him but this time as you see Corrin did the same amount of damage as Kruger but why playing Kruger here is important because he enables Cecilia and Mr. Carlyle with their auto attacks because it's physical and it enables some auto attacks from her relief because it's physical and then she spirals with her true damage because she's a beast and we know that and OD we don't need to speak about OD in this patch in this season he's absolutely amazing now these are only from the auto attacks of Smokey don't think that he did the blue cloud he never did the blue cloud this is only the auto attacks if he did the blue clouds he will deal damage I think more than Kruger if he can do it for 10 seconds some people are telling me try Rowan I tried Rowan he gets to the blue cloud but it doesn't make any sense because you will lose on damages from other units and his damage does not go like some od to to defeat the boss so yeah that was it for this run and yeah that was it for the video let me know your your ideas and lineups tell me if you had something else played or you use the thunderbolt and it dealing more damage with some specific lineup this is my lineups this is my strategy i did the tests Tell me if you did other tests on your own and I'll be grateful. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.